Force is measured in something called a force Newton. Force is essentially how strong he's moving an object. So the more Newtons you have, obviously, the more force you are putting on to somebody to make another player move or another object move. Now, power is how fast you're moving that force. With football, where what is really important is where power comes into play. Because power, what we're mostly going to be looking at is the rate of force development. So how fast can you develop that force? The quicker that you can develop that force, the more powerful you are. And that's what we want to see in a sport like football, where you don't need a lot of time to generate that force. Because somebody who could be produce just as much force as you, but has more power so they can just develop the force faster, that's the difference between a yard. Or that's the difference between being able to break a tackle or being able to get lit up by a safety, basically. Or uh, as a safety like Jaleel, you want to stop somebody as fast as possible. So having as much power as possible is cru crucially important because you want to get to that player as fast as possible to stop them immediately. Jaleel's force output for the trap bar, uh, the trap bar jump. And what we're gonna see here is that, again, this is an incredibly high number for a weighted Yo. jump. What we see here is that he starts at a lower position for this jump. So what he's allowed to do is he has more time to develop what's called impulse. Basically the loading phase, and prepping your muscles for the force they're about to develop. So because he starts out in that low position, he's able to develop impulse and then generate more force, right? So the more impulse you can generate, the more force you can generate, importantly, in a very short amount of time. Okay, so we are looking at Jaleel's power output on the squat jump. So that's the 56, 36 here. That's an, that's an incredibly high number, by the way. Right, so that's how much force he can develop with a weighted load, is that he is able to generate force very, very quickly, okay? So how that's gonna relate to football is if you have a halfback who already has a full head of steam, they've already developed that power, right? And it's coming at Jaleel. And he might not always be able to get a running start, so if he doesn't meet the force of that oncoming force, then he's going to get knocked over. So he might only have one or two steps to be able to develop the same amount of force. What this number is showing us is that he's able to do that without having to get a running start. So this is what the hardest hitting safety in football uh, produced on the field today.